Dear friends, I welcome you to the 31st and the final day of our Marian Reflection for the month of May 2022. Our theme had been from the sorrows and tears of Mary today to the heart of Jesus. While our topic for this final day is for all gratitude to God through Mary our Mother. We reflect from Luke chapter 1 verse 46 and I read, and Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord. Yes, in response to the praise of Elizabeth, her blessed mother immediately retorted in her magnificat. She began with these words, My soul magnifies the Lord. To magnify means to make bigger, to enlarge like how a microscope magnifies tiny atoms and organisms. That Mary magnifies the Lord does not imply a direct addition to the glory and status of God, but that whatever she does is to praise even the more the omnipotence of God. That hers is to ensure God remains even pronounced the more and more, with no pause, in the greatest manner possible, all the days of her life. Child of God, Mary's response was not only indicative of her humble personality and love for God, but a great doctrinal lesson and revelation to us all. Unlike you and I today, who seek and accept praises and admirations, Mary ensures she accepts nothing of her own, but rechannels all glory to God Almighty. How happily does she channel all our prayers to the praise and exaltation of God. This is her mission, and she made it very known at the house of Zachariah. Today, like Elizabeth, we say daily in our rosaries, Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And immediately in response, and for each and every Hail Mary, our Blessed Mother offers all to her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear ones, how earnestly Mary desires to be that all-perfect link as we offer our praises and thanksgiving to God. And how sad is she when we question her permission and prowess in performing this function. How sorrowful is Mary when we think it is all a waste of time channeling our thanksgiving to God through her, that she is an unwanted link between us and Christ. But the logic is simple and evidently clear. It began with the all-perfect design of God, brought to limelight by Mary's cooperation and total submission to the will of God, and remains ever active by her merits as the mother of Christ, our Redeemer and God. They are resting Christ. Our sins and frailties may make our prayers appalling before the sight of God, but not a single iota of Mary's tears is ignored and not treated with utmost priority, more than all creatures in heaven and on earth. Wisdom, they say, may always be found wanting. Would it not be wise to go through a channel you are sure of that is perfect? and would undeniably get to the ears of God. St. Louis Maria de Montfort has classified it as the shortest, easiest, perfect, and the surest way to Christ. We can never be on the wrong track, because all who sincerely did, we are never abandoned. There we are always endowed with the choicest blessings of God. How happily does Christ smile over our thanksgiving, channeled through the arms of our Blessed Mother, the ever-spotless Virgin, the one whom he suckled, his trainer, groomer, and most loving mother. Her presence is like the star of morning. Her request changes all protocols. How much more would her tears accomplish? Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
O Mary, in your tears I take refuge. Above all things, continue to channel my thanksgiving and praises to God Almighty. Accompany me and unite all my praises to that of Christ, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I also present all that I am, my life, cares, worries, families, and everything that I have to you. I humbly request you offer them to Christ as a pleasant offering for blessings and for my sanctification. Amen. Remember to make our time to attend and participate in the Eucharist today. Remember to say at least five decades of the Rosary today. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you immensely for the 31 days journey with us. For all the sacrifices you made, thank you. I'm highly grateful to you. As we come to the end of our reflection today, I pray that your heart desires and intentions before the throne of mercy may find his approval through the intercession of Mother Mary. I promise to continue to pray for you every day and offer your intentions especially at the Holy Rosary and at the Holy Eucharist. God bless you. Till we meet again in October, remain blessed.